So what do you think? Y'all remember when y'all remember when Barrett Bardock came into the game or not? Not when Bardock came into the game. Y'all remember when Kefla came into the game? And everybody considered her let me turn this down. Everybody considered her to be a worse Bardock? Why do you guys think that? Why do you guys think that? I mean she had she didn't really have much compared to Bardock. Well well she did, but she didn't have much alike compared to Bardock. Like they didn't have the same tools really. Lariat staggers and that's it? Yeah, that's true, but like her the thing with her is that her EX one only goes like 80%, 90% of the screen. Whereas Bardock has a layer that goes full screen. Meanwhile, his is only at mid, while hers is a low. So that's pretty good, right? That's really good, right? Staggers, yeah, you can say stuff about staggers. Her 5L is 3, minus 3. Her, let me see her whole her staggers, actually. Her 5L is minus 3. Uh, minus five. She can four LL, unlike Bardock. Unlike Bardock. Unlike Bardock. Her two, her low two L is also safe. This is this right here. This is a button, bro. Sure, it doesn't go the farthest range for a two M, but it's safe. And look at the startup. The startup is nine frames, bro. That is actually asinine, yo. That's actually like only a few assists or a few two Ms in this game reached nine frame bro like that's the fastest a 2 one can ever get bro. so you can probably get like super ma super dash mix you can actually get mix off this 2 one because remember people were getting hit by gt's um by gt's 2 one back in season two when he had the orb mix and that was like borderline reactable but with the with the nine frame 2 one you can make it reactable i believe and then you get extra da insane damage off it. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, 5M, oh my god, 5M. Bardock wishes he had a 5M like this. Bardock wishes he had a 5M like this. Don't get me wrong, this, this, this 5M is ridiculous because it's safe and if you space it's like what? If you space it, it can, it's like negative two? Is it negative two? What's the far this can go? I think the far, oh, number one, yeah. yeah. That's ridiculous. That right there is ridiculous. But that's if you space it, though. Bardock also got a ridiculous 2 but that's also 10 frames. Like, one frame makes a difference in the world, right, guys? Level 3 also basically the same. Okay, yeah, their level 3s are literally the same as well. Like, with Bardock, I'm, I like Bardock's... Bardock's is a bit more truer, though. Bardock's is a bit more truer because... It's not conditional, it's like like you literally have to guess. Cause he can he, he can go he can do use the float. Float high or float low. That's that, that is ridiculous. I can't lie. Also he has a gut punch, which is plus frames, like they both have plus frame moves. I mean obviously Kefla has to spend meters for hers. But hers is legit a full screen plus frame move. That does mad damage. Same with Bardock. It's not full screen, but her her shit isn't full screen. But uh, or Bardock isn't full screen. But like if you get hit by it, it does insane shit. And then you do this pretty much. You just keep looping them and then build all that meter and then voila, you're in. Like it's ridiculous. Like both of these characters are great. Um, and also, yeah, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention, whatchamacallit, I forgot to mention Kefla's level 3 too, like you said, it's, it's less, it's less po potent than Bardock's because Bardock can float, but she, she just goes either, she uses the Goichi's moon jump, and she can either go... High? I'm messing up the high. You can either go high, or you can go low. Or you can just flat out just meaty them, bro. But it's, it's more conditional mix, right? But you can't fuzzy jump. I don't think you can fuzzy... Not fuzzy jump. Fuzzy block it. 
You definitely can't fuzzy block it. Um, one of the reasons why, personally, personally, in my opinion, one of the reasons why... Oh, and loops, yeah, yeah, loops, obviously. What, what can... How do, how do you guys do the loops again with Bardock? Yeah, like, that's good. And with Kefla, she can, she can do this. Like, you know, so and so forth, right? Sparking loops here and there. Like, it's, it's Liddy, it's Liddy. It's Liddy, right? Um, I'm messing it up, but you guys get the deal. Um, but one of the reasons why I believe Kefla overall is a stronger character than Bardock, just a tad bit, is because obviously with the multi hidden key, wow, that's ridiculous. So that alone, there's an answer for that. Whereas Bardock can't really do that, you feel me? Bardock doesn't have multi. He is the you sure he is the key blast. He is the key blast. Like he just floats around. Uh, lariat, lariat, lariat. This. You feel me? She just like zones you. She flat. She flat out zones you. Bro. And then whenever she wants to get in, she can pretty much just do this. Key blast into this, and she will get meter. She will get meter, bro. She will get meter doing that. Oh, her jam is also better. Bardock doesn't really have an air normal that you can just use. I mean, sure, his jam is alright. But it's it doesn't have a like a vertical, what is it called? Not a vertical. A horizontal hitbox, so you can't really use it like that. His JL is also not the best for anti-airs. It's not the greatest. This is pretty good. It's solid, but it's, it's not the best. Meanwhile, she can just snipe you with the air. Look at this JL. Look at this JL. Look at this JL. You tell me you're not getting hit by that JL, bro, in the air? It's perfect for anti airs. Perfect for anti airs. Her jam is the best. I don't care what anybody says. Her jam is arguably the best in the game. It's a double hitting wonky JM, bro. Y'all y'all know Bardock's uh, second hit? It's pretty much Bardock's second hit of his JM. Yeah, pretty much like that, but like better, and she gets two of them, bro. That's ridiculous, bro. And it's nine, and it's ten frames, bro. Or not, no, my fault. Nine frames. No, seven frames. That's fast. That's actually fast. That's fast. That's fast. That's fast. Overall, like her air air buttons are better. Her ground neutrals arguably better, even though like Bardock does have the lariat. She can zone. She can get in. She has a bus out option with command dash. Like, it's a four frame reversal, she, 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 she can bust out. Like, say for example, like, I'm over here, right? Like, I'm over here. I do it like a, this and the vanish. Say for example, that was true, right? Or, let me just do vanish in general, let me see. Uh... Yeah, right here, right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I vanish. And right here, I'm plus, right? Hold on. Right here, I'm plus, right? No, I'm not. I'm trying to press as fast as I can, guys. I'm trying to press as fast as I can. And I can't do anything. It's a four frame reversal. Like, sure, you can backdash. You can backdash that, but then again, like, it's RPS, bro, because she has a bus out option. It's, it's ridiculous. That's really good. I'm gonna use that more often. Yeah, it's really strong. You can't do anything about it. You're sure you can backdash? But like I said, RPS, bro. RPS heavily in Kefla's favor. And then, like, if you want to backdash, and she can just, she can just challenge you. She can dash block and see you backdash. Like, Kefla has options, yo. Not only that, but people keep saying that Kefla doesn't have mix. But hear me out. Hear me out. Sure, this is good. Like, this is reactive on me, but with assist, bro, with assist, it's hard, bro, it's hard. It's hard. Are you telling me y'all seen that? Y'all seen that, bro? Y'all reacting to that? Y'all reacting to that, bro? Be honest with me, bro. With assist? Y'all reacting to that. That's, that's hard to, it's hard to block, bro. 
especially with UIA. Mainly that's because of UIA, but like with with the right assist and the fact that she can just keep you staggered and pressured in for so long. And not to mention, guys, this is a secret, bro. This is a gimmick. This is a gimmick that Kefa players should use. But remember, bro. Remember what I said, guys. The e, the DR light. The light mix up, bro. EX looks just like DR. And that will catch people. That will catch a lot of people. So, like... Say, for example, you catch them pressing, right? You catch them pressing. Let me see. Look at that, look at that. Look at, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's mad good. You have to use 5L though. 5L, 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 5L. You have to use 5L, I think. That's too fast. And if you space it correctly, if you space it correctly, it looks just like a DR. So people, good players are going to protect that. Mad good players are gonna take that. Like, he, sure, he's getting me now, but like, oh my god, that jail is ridiculous. Or that 5 ball is ridiculous from Kefla. Talk about 236S? Uh, S or M? M? Oh, M's also good for sniping people all on top, bro, who just like to jump a lot. You feel me? Bardock doesn't have these options, bro. Sure, Bardock can get in, but she can get in and zone at the same time. That's why I personally think she's more potent than Bardock, but both definitely have their similarities. Definitely. I can see it. Stag a, a character that has staggers, solid assist, um, has great neutral. Both of them do have great neutral, even though I think Kefla's is a bit better. Um, good buttons. Both have level 3 mix. Even though Kefla's mix is more conditional, and Bardock is more like, oh, like, it's just you have to hold it. Um, it's, it's, it's really good, it's really good, it's really good. But yeah, also, they both have hard knockdowns anywhere on screen, which not, like, not everybody in the cast has. With the Kefla's, um... With Kefla's 2-3 uh, success. Anywhere on screen, and you're in the corner too, by the way, you're in the corner, by the way. Bardock, you can you can do it too. You can do it too, even though like you won't be as close because Bardock's light lariat is is the the knockdown off his light lariat or light spin is not as good as Kefla's two three six S. Oh, also, 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 also. This Hellzone Ray, bro. Remember, bro. Hellzone Ray, beautiful, beautiful. That is a great way to get your assist back. If you see two of your assists gone, literally just do this, bro, and you'll get both of your assists back. Look, I mean, hit came back. I think I think it's because I called hit. Uh, you get your okay. Pretty much, you'll get both of your assists back with that. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Meanwhile, Bardock doesn't have like crazy okay. Crazy okay. RPS on wake up, yeah, 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 it's ridiculous. Pretty much, she has more tools than Barnard. Pretty much, she has flat out more tools. So if I'm, if I was you guys, if I'm looking for just a straight up rush down character who doesn't really zone but can just flat out rush down, Bardock 100%. But if I were you guys, if you want a, like a character that's just complete. 100% complete, that has it all. With even a better assist, I think Kefla's ASS is better than any of Marlock's assists, but that's just me. If you want a character that just has it all, bes besides like... I wouldn't say has it all, has it like all around, just an all around straight up good character, I would pick Kefla. That's just me though. But that pretty much uh, concludes it then. Um, if you guys enjoyed the content, Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment on who you guys think is a stronger character in your opinion, and I'll catch y'all boys later. Y'all boys stay safe.